In today's video, we're speeding up High Tide and Legacy using the card Candelabra of Thanos from Antiquities. This is going to be an exciting league. Buckle up. High Tide combo is truly a work of art. It's just a masterpiece. It's so beautiful. And how this deck functions is that you want to have a bunch of islands in play and then play the card High Tide from Homelands, which makes all of your islands tap for more than one mana. So that way you tap an island, it taps for two, you cast another High Tide, you tap for three, etc. Okay, well, in order to leverage that, you need cards that untap your land. So naturally, we have a card that sees a lot of play in these archetypes, Turnabout. However, my last few videos, I've been playing Snap and Quad of Fairies instead because it allows you to be faster, you have more Storm going into Mind's Desire. But today, we're playing Turnabout because we're also playing Candelabra of Taunos. So this is an artifact from Antiquities. You pay X, untap X lands, and this also allows you to be a little bit faster, but also turn about, it can untap lands, but you can also untap Candelabra using the mode artifacts instead of lands, which is pretty exciting. We also have Time Twister, or I'm sorry, Time Spiral, not Time Twister. But this deck really got a huge level up just a few months ago with the card Mind's Desire being unbanned in Legacy. In today's video, we're also playing four copies of main deck dress down because it allows you to answer Orcish Bowmasters and our deck that draws a lot of cards using Ponder, Brainstorm, and then the Time Spiral, as I mentioned. But also, dress down stops things like Thassa's Oracle or even Archon of Emeria out of the Boros Initiative deck. And well, that's the primary use here. In today's video, we're playing Fae of Wishes because it can get a Mind's Desire out of the sideboard or even a Jace Wielder of Mysteries to allow you to beat the One Ring, which is pretty exciting. And uh, that's my deck tech. I hope you enjoy it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. But without any further ado, I kind of want to just get into the league, you know, and cast some spells. So we're going to do that. I'll see you in the first match. Don't go anywhere. If you enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, early access to videos, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us like theepicsroom.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via theepicsroom.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Welcome to match number one. We're actually facing a supporter of this channel. They're a member of the Combo Cabal. So with that, you get a bunch of perks like tutoring sessions every month, access to every video early, free donation decks, all sorts of perks. So I really appreciate their name is Declan and Declan support. So Declan has been working on the Epic Storm recently, but has also been working on a One Ring Paradox Engine deck that I actually recorded a couple weeks ago. So, do I want to mulligan to Force of Will? We have a hand that's capable of uh, turn three, maybe turn four. I think I'm going to keep this and just say I'll cantrip into a Force. Tropical Island. So it's not the Epic Storm. It is the One Ring deck. Another Mind's Desire is not what I wanted here. I'll grab a basic island and play Ponder. I mean, I want these lands, but I don't think we're allowed to keep this, so I'm going to shuffle. Another high tide. It's just, if I don't find Force of Will, things are going to look pretty bad for us. They play a Brainstorm. Wooded Foothills, okay. That is in Declan's deck list. Merchant Scroll. All right, Brainstorm. This is where I get punished for shuffling those lands. Or not. Love it. Okay, so we'll put back one of the high tides here. And I'll play a Misty Rainforest and just send it back. I could play out the Candelabra, but I think it sort of tells our opponent what we're up to. And I don't know if I want that. Plateau. Okay, things are getting spicy. Right of Flame. And the One Ring, sure. We are capable of beating the One Ring. We have a Jace Wielder of Mysteries in our sideboard. Okay, so I'll fetch here. Grab an island. I don't want to cycle the Lorian Reveal. That actually might be a card we want later. Time Spiral. Okay, so am I going for a turn three here? Let's think about this. So High Tide, and then High Tide Floating 1. Yeah, this works. All right, High Tide. High Tide Floating 1. We'll play the Candelabra. This taps for three. We'll untap three lands. And now we can Merchant Scroll. We'll grab Turnabout. 
make more mana, and then we'll turn about myself, land, untap. So now we have 3 plus 9, which is 12. So I can cast Lorien Revealed here, floating 1 blue mana. We'll play Ponder. I'm going to shuffle these. I want a Mind's Desire. I don't want to Time Spiral. Force of Well. And now a Mind's Desire for 8. Lorien Revealed, Dress Down. We need untappers. We hit a candle. So it looks like we fizzled. But I will get to play a bunch of spells here. Another dress down. A lot of lands. A little hard cast of Lorien revealed. And brainstorm. Okay, so we probably don't need two time spirals in our hand. We'll put them both on top. And then move to discard and discard some lands. Okay. I mean, I could have not have cast the Lorien Revealed, but if you're going to Desire, I think you want to increase your Storm Count as much as possible. They play a Manifold Key. Sure. I'm going to allow that to resolve. They will get to draw three cards, but drawing three cards doesn't kill me. So I'm letting it go. Mox Opal. They play a Brainstorm. That's fine by me. And a Savannah. Grim Monolith resolves. Lion's Eye Diamond happens. That's another Voltaic Key. And now they're going to untap their one ring, floating four mana. So they draw four cards. And now they're untapping their Grim Monolith, so they fizzled. We're going to draw the Time Spiral that we knew about. Play Mystic Sanctuary. But, I don't know. Um, Another Mind's Desire on top. So... I just want to talk through this. So I can Merchant Scroll, get High Tide, cast High Tide, untap two lands, and then use this to untap, make four mana. I believe that we can go off here. I mean, maybe my math is off, but I'm pretty sure we can. So we'll High Tide, use Candelabra, we'll untap, and now we make four mana, Candelabra, untap all of our lands, and now I can play another candle, and we'll untap these. So the storm count's only three. I could desire for four, or I can spiral. My fear is if the spiral blanks, but maybe I just have to trust it, because I don't think desire for four is good enough, so we'll time spiral. Ay ay ay. Okay. Ponder. Storm five. Well, that was very good for us. Let's cast Brainstorm. We're going to put back Lorien Revealed and a land. Because if I desire, I want that Lorien Revealed in our deck. Turnabout, land. Actually, this was the spot I was supposed to do Artifact. All right, my bad. My bad. We'll ponder for Storm. Let's shuffle. Could have taken the Fae of Wishes there. But I came here to desire, and I'm going to do it. All right, we'll take Turnabout now. I will untap my artifacts. And mine's desire for 11. Okay, we'll high tide. High tide. Draw three. We'll dress down just a draw card. And now we can ponder. We can shuffle that. And now we have five mana. We'll candle and untap some lands. Five mana. Play dress down. I could time spiral again. I just don't want to. Dress down again. We have so much mana. There's only 21 cards left. Like, we can find a win here. Let's Lorien Revealed. And there's our Fave Wishes. We will untap our lands. And then we'll play Granted. And Brain Freeze targeting them. I could Brain Freeze myself and then use the uh, Jace Wielder of Mysteries. I don't want to show them that I can beat the One Ring. Sweet. We've taken game number one. The first thing we'll do is take Dress Down out of our deck. It is not relevant here. And we do have four copies of Fluster Storm. I don't think we're interested in Leyline of the Void, although I do know that they're on a list with four Echoveons in the main deck. It's just, what in our deck do you think is worse than Leyline of the Void? And do you really want to be drawing Leyline of the Void's mid-game? I don't know. I think you're just better off having four Fluster, four fours, and then, you know... Doing your own thing. I don't know how I feel about triple time spiral. We'll take a mulligan. 
Much better. We'll keep this and put a Fave Wishes on the bottom. Tropical Island into Carpet of Flowers. We'll play Flooded Strand past the turn. There's a Saga. Okay. And another Carpet of Flowers. Time Spiral. I will give them an island. Play Candle. They're going to get a lot of mana from me this turn. I guess it's only two, but next turn they're going to get a lot. They play another copy of Urza's Saga. You can have a one ring. They'll draw a card. I was thinking about fetching and using Lorien Revealed, and then next turn Merchant Scroll for High Tide with Flusterstorm up, but I don't think Flusterstorm is actually good when I give them six mana. So I think I'm going to sit here. Brainstorm was a good draw. We'll play that. Ooh, that was very good for us. Okay, so... Lorien Revealed can go back. And... Let's put the other candle on top. I'll play Mystic Sanctuary and pass. Our pitch card for Force of Will is going to be the Merchant Scroll. They get to make a lot of mana here. They get a Manifold Key. It's a Fairy Time Raveler. I will play Force of Will, exiling Merchant Scroll. They activate the ring to draw two. They can then spend one of the mana they have floating to untap the ring. And now they'll draw three. So they have nine cards in their hand, two red floating, and an Urza Saga on the battlefield. And now they play Volcanic Island into Brainstorm. They're going to make a construct. I'm a little surprised by that. Okay. So we're going to untap and draw the other Candelabra. As I mentioned, we draw the candle. Let's start the turn by fetching. And we'll play a High Tide. Make some mana. Play a candle. And now we will untap. Make some more mana. And then Time Spiral. You don't need to use the Candelabra first because we could draw into more copies of High Tide. I suppose I'm allowed to play a land for turn. That's nice. And now we'll Merchant Scroll for another High Tide. We will High Tide again. And Time Spiral once again. Storm 6. On tap. Hold on. Undo. High Tide. So now all of our islands tap for 4 mana. We'll Hardcast Lorien Revealed. We'll Hardcast another Lorien Revealed. High Tide, High Tide, taps for six. We'll untap our lands using the Candelabra. Let's brainstorm. I can put back some of these lands. And then we'll Merchant Scroll. And we'll grab another Brainstorm. Let's brainstorm. Just increasing storm count here. Put back two lands. We can turn about to untap our artifacts. Make some more mana. Untap, untap, untap. Make a bunch more mana. Untap, 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 untap. And now we'll untap our artifacts again. Ponder. We're probably going to shuffle because we knew that our top two were lands. Another high tide. Ponder again. I'll just shuffle. Like, I, I realized I could cast a turnabout. We just don't need more mana. And we will now desire for the rest of our deck. So there is a deck building choice I chose to not make in this league. You could run one Cunning Wish instead of the third Fave Wishes, and you can 100% of the time find Cunning Wish off of Merchant Scroll. I just don't think that's like something you necessarily need. I think the deck is so good at winning whenever you are ready. Okay, and we will now Fave Wishes. Technically, it's granted. And I will now show Velgrim that we have the Jace Wielder of Mysteries. And now we'll Fae of Wishes again. Or no, that's the other one. I want to grant it again. And we'll grab a Brain Freeze. Play the Jace Wielder of Mysteries. And now I'll Brain Freeze them. But I can also Brain Freeze myself. So we'll get a double win. And they concede. Sweet. We're 1-0 in this Legacy League. High Tide? Unstoppable. I'll see you in the second match. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Match number two, we're on the play. I 
so we have two lands. We have Merchant Scroll for High Tide. All right. Maybe this isn't as bad as I think it is. Opponent plays Wooded Foothills. Okay. We will fetch. Grab a basic. And we will cycle Lorien Revealed. Grab another basic. Candle. That was a good draw. Now we'll Merchant Scroll and go find our High Tide. At this point, we just need more lands. Lands and actually spells that create storm. Wasteland. Nice one. Legacy playable, I swear. Okay, so can we draw land three? We can. Imagine playing non-basic lands. Couldn't be me. As he says after playing a Scalding Tarn. But you know what I mean. Grabbed Tropical Island. Cycles Lorien Revealed. I don't actually know what we're facing. Volcanic. Is this Rhinos? It might be Rhinos. I'm going to cycle this dress down. Into another Force of Will. Okay. Brainstorm was a good draw. That was not bad. So put the Force on top and turn about above that. Play land four and we'll pass. Violent Outburst. It was in fact Rhinos. If you want to counterspell a Crashing Footfalls here, I don't think you understand what matters in this matchup. Because it's certainly not creatures. Like, the, those rhinos are two turns away from dealing lethal. They do not matter. Okay. I think we want to draw the turnabout. And we'll fetch. Grab another basic. High Tide. They force a negation exiling Shardless Agent. I will force of will exiling turnabout. They force of will exiling Fire Ice. I will force of will exiling Brainstorm. No way. We'll float a blue. For a second there, I thought they had another counter spell, and I was like, come on! I mean, they could have drawn one off the ice. High tide. Play Candelabra. Two blue. They had another. Oh, wow. Wow. Just devastating here. They got me. Okay. What a counter war. Holy moly. So they had to draw off of the fire ice and they did because they used the last two cards in their hand so they drew a random card and it was either simian spirit guide or the force of negation and i believe that we can deduct that it was the force of negation based on the fact that they wasted mana playing fire ice so they drew into the force of negation to stop me there holy moly all right so we'll bring in fluster storms board out the dress downs and let's try this <sighs> So I, I trash talk Wasteland, and now we've opened up a hand where I lose to it. I'm, uh, I'm going to keep it. I mean, I think that this hand is good, assuming I don't get Wastelanded. And there's a real possibility that our opponent just sided out Wasteland. That is something that happens in Legacy. We'll play Mystic Sanctuary and pass. Not Wasteland, I approve. We drew the land anyway, had it the whole time. I don't know why you ever doubted me. We have a Wooded Foothills... On their end step, I will brainstorm. I think we put back ponder and a merchant scroll. And then I'm going to go search out lane number three using Lorien Revealed. We draw a turnabout. Play merchant scroll. We'll grab high tide. And then I'm just going to play out candelabra now. Like, I don't think our opponent sided in Force of Vigor, so there's probably very little punish for playing this a turn early. Okay. So we could try to go off right now with double counter backup, or I can wait. They're representing a violent outburst, so they'd have to have force, force, and then a like a mystical dispute. I'm going to go for it. That's unfortunate. Okay, so we will cast a force. High tide, and another mystical dispute. Not what I wanted to see here. So they have four cards in hand. Them having double force, or even a single force here, is not unreasonable high tide and they did in fact have triple counter we will pass the turn we drew a fourth land whoops play the land pass the turn they flash in a brazen borrower okay we take three we go to 14 they have two cards left in their hand land number five i don't have another mystic sanctuary we only play the one they still have three cards in their hand and they're not playing spells, so it's probably permission. Land number six. I think I'm just going to try to jam a time spiral here. Another force of negation. Yep. 
So if they play a Spirit Guide, which is another card they could have in their hand, they have lethal... Actually, not next turn. It would be in two turns. So I don't know if it's actually worth playing the Spirit Guide. I'll take three going down to six, because the Spirit Guide would put me to one. I guess it would mean that I'm dead to, like, a Fire Ice. And they ice an island. Sure. Violent Outburst. So that's going to kill me. I don't have a single card in our deck that gets me out of this. Uh, well, I guess I'm wrong. I drew the card that buys us a turn. So I could turn about and then tap down their creatures. And then our turn, draw time spiral. That is the out. So we'll target our opponent, creature, and tap. I believe it has to be time spiral or mind's desire into time spiral. Another fire ice. Okay, well, we drew Brainstorm. This was never going to be good enough. Bummer. Okay, so we are now one and one in this Legacy League. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens, as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Round number three. We're on the play. We're a high tide away from greatness. Let's try it. We'll play a scalding turn and pass the turn. Uh-oh. I'll, I'll admit, I didn't really want to face Delver this league, and here we are. Force of Will. They brainstorm. And they kept the card on top. And they play a Delver of Secrets, sure. Cyclorian Revealed. I could have done this last turn. I just didn't. I don't know why I don't have any excuse. I just didn't do it. And I think in their upkeep, I'm going to dress down this turn. Ponder was not a bad pickup. And the Delver does transform. I wasn't sure if it would with dress down, if I'm being honest. But I knew that it would stop the Dragon's Rage Channeler from getting bigger. They play another Brainstorm. On their end step, I will fetch. And I'm going to cycle another copy of Lorien Revealed. I'm going to sit on this Pluto Delta. I mean, I could go get Mystic Sanctuary right now, but I don't know why I'd wa I would want to even do that. Um, I guess Ponder gives me another look at High Tide. We will Ponder again. Shuffle that. Play Candelabra. Okay, so we don't have to worry about Orcish Bowmasters because they're on the Teamer variation of the deck. And now they're going to Lightning Bolt me. And this should be setting up them to... Ooh, they didn't put anything to the graveyard that helps them with Surveil. Or um, with, helps them with Delirium. So right now they have Instant and Land and that's it. Wasteland. So they're attacking for 4. I'll drop down to 7. Is this a Murktide region? So this would be a 5-5. Five, five. I think I'm going to exile the other force. I, I think I need this Fae of Wishes to buy me some time. As a blocker. A 1-4 Flying Blocker. Okay, pass the turn. On the end step, they Seek the Beast. They reveal Mishra's Bobble and a Volcanic Island. They play the land. And now the Questing Druid. Mishra's Bobble does not pump the Questing Druid. But what it will do is give our opponent Delirium. But I think that we're going to be able to pull a fast one on them here. Hopefully. And what I mean by that is... Yeah, none of these pump up their Druid. That's fine. And what I mean by that is they're going to attack with their Channeler that is Delirious. I'm going to let them go to combat. We'll dress down. It will become a 1-1. One, one. I'll, I'll block it, and it will die. They look at my top card again. Sure. I don't want them knowing what I'm drawing, so I'm going to fetch here. And I'll just grab a basic. I could grab the Mystic Sanctuary. They have Wasteland, and I don't want anything in my... Um, Graveyard anyway. So I'm going to flash in the dress down. Another fave wishes. We'll go to blocks. I'll block the channeler. And now I go to two. That lightning bolt is not in their hand that was escaped away to or delved away to Murktide Regent. They're going to draw two cards here. We actually drew high tide. Let's play it. And apparently it was forced blue card. Okay. I could granted for snap, but 
pretty sure I'm dead if I do that. So we'll play another Fave Wishes as a blocker. They daze just to make their questing druid a little bit bigger. And I will pay. So we know that they have a land in their hand. And they're drawing a an unknown card. Well, that unknown card was Dragon's Rage Channeler. Their questing druid is now a 4-4. Four, four, which means that it will kill my fave, which is when I go to block. High tide off the top would be amazing. I'd settle for land number 6. Turnabout could allow us to cast Time Spiral as well. Mind's Desire does not do it. Bummer. Okay. Unfortunate. We'll bring in Fluster Storm and Side Out Dress Down. Game number two, we're on the play. Yeah, this seems delightful. Keep. I'm going to lead on the Mystic Sanctuary because I don't care if it's destroyed. I'm just looking to get a few more draw steps in here. And it would allow me to play the Candelabra on turn two. Delver of Secrets. Sure. Another High Tide. Yes. Play the Candle. Delver of Secrets transforms to Ponder. Another Volcanic Island. Okay. They attack. I will fall to 17. We draw land number four, which is fine by me. I think my best draw at this point is a Fluster Storm. And I'm going to run out Fave Wishes just as a blocker. Try to throw in a little bit of a road bump for our opponent. Maybe they burn a Red Elemental Blast that they would have used on a High Tide here. They're at least thinking about this. Yeah, Cunning Wish never draws out Pyroblast, but that just did. What is going on here? Ponder. They attack for three. I will fall to 13. Delver of Secrets. They have four cards in their hand. Grab an island. Come on, Fluster Storm. Nope. Play the island. Let's try a High Tide. And they Force of Will exiling Murktide Regent. I'm going to just pass here. So I could High Tide again and then theoretically win, but I'm playing into Daze. I don't want to do that. And they flip their Delver to Pyroblast. No! Ah, oh, that was terrible for me. And they have Lethal on board too. Yikes. Okay, so game plan. We're going to High Tide. They Pyroblast. We turn about to buy time. High Tide. Surprise, surprise. They use the Pyroblast. And now I am playing into Days once again. In their upkeep, we will turn about them to tap their creatures. If they daze me here, it means that I couldn't have done anything no matter what. And they did in fact have the daze, and I am dead. So we are now 1 and 2 with 2 matches left to go. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Let's try to bounce back. We're in the fourth match. We're on the play. Won a lot of die rolls, but not a lot of wins so far. We're facing someone who's known for playing a lot of combo decks. They used to play the Epic Storm. I don't know what they've been up to recently, but I am not super confident in this hand. I'm going to send it back. Much better. We will put a Brainstorm on the bottom. Play a Basic Island and pass the turn. They play a Bayou. Mishra's Bobble, and another one, Mox Opal, and they're just passing. We'll play the island, let's Merchant Scroll, we'll grab High Tide. So another fun fact about playing Fave Wishes over Cunning Wish is that we don't actually have to care about Veil of Summer. I know that I mentioned the One Ring, but you could just Brain Freeze yourself and then play Jace and you never have to care about that Veil of Summer. They used both their baubles and now they're drawing cards, so they're back up to seven cards in hand. They play Verdant Catacombs, Lotus Petal. Okay, they have tons of mana. Four cards left in their hand. Dark Ritual, Lion's Eye Diamond, two cards left. They have a protected win. I mean, I'm gonna let it go. It's an Echo! I've been punished. So now we're hoping that they fizzle. And I drew into another four, so if I die here, it's kind of my own fault. Cabal Ritual. Yeah. They play a Brainstorm. They bobble me. That will do. So I guess I should have forced it. The Veil of Summer. Okay, we've been crushed. 
So they're on Echo and Beseech. So I think we do want the Ley Lines. And we also want the Fluster Storms. We can board out the Dress Downs. We're at 64. So we have to make some concessions now. We have to decide what is ultimately the most important to us. I think that you could probably shave a couple copies of Merchant Scroll. I understand how important it is to find High Tide, but I just don't think it's a card we actually want to draw multiples of. I'm going to board out one Fae of Wishes and a Lorien Revealed. It's either Lorien Revealed or the Mystic Sanctuary. Let's try the Mystic Sanctuary. Okay, so no lands. This is not bad. We'll keep this. Turnabout can go on the bottom. We'll put the Ley Lion on the table. Player Island, pass the turn. They lead on a Mox Opal, Lotus Petal, Lion's Eye Diamond. There's a Saga, sure. Wish Claw Talisman, you got it. Cycle the Lorien Revealed. Two cards left in their hand. We draw another Ley Line. Unfortunate, okay. Their Saga goes up to the second chapter. We're not sure what their game plan is here. It might just be Saga Beatdown. I need to find a high tide pretty badly. Sure. So they're actually representing lethal next turn, I believe. Yeah, they are. So I'm actually dying very quickly here. Holy moly. There's a saga putting in work. They use their polluted delta for a hope of gearper. <laughs> yeah, I love that card. You got it. They bobble me. We're pretty much on draw high tide or bust at this point. In theory, Brainstorm into High Tide plus Candle could... Or I'm sorry, yeah, High Tide plus Candle could do it. But it's not looking good for us. And we drew Time Spiral. We are dead on board, and we are now 1 and 3. High Tide not looking so good today. Bummer. All right, well, there's still one more match left. Let's try to get 50 play points back. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as 7 tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. Round number 5 might be a fast one. We're on the draw against Monkeys Can't Cry who is a doomsday expert. I think I'm going to keep this. Like, we have high tide, we have access to three lands. But it might just be us getting smushed. Scalding Tarn for Underground Sea Personal Tutor. Yep. Into Lotus Petal. Dress Down. That's a card I like here. So we know that Ethan has a Doomsday in hand. Doomsday Resolves. Two Dazes, one Force of Will, two Force of Will, three Force of Will. So Ethan has a Force of Will in hand. I think I'm supposed to Brainstorm and hope to hit Force of Will plus land number two. We'll play the Brainstorm. I hit the land, but not the Force of Will. So I think we probably just lose here. Blue to Delta, pass the turn. They cycle an Edge of Autumn, Street Wraith, and Thassa's Oracle, I will fetch. We'll play Dress Down. But we know that they have a force of will, so like it just doesn't matter. And there it is. So we don't have a force, and we lose. Okay, this has not been a very good league. For the home team, that is. Plenty of nice opponents we faced, but uh, I'm just losing a lot. We'll bring in Fluster Storms. Board out Fey of Wishes. I'm trying to think out what the other side outs are here. Maybe one time spiral and then a couple turn or yeah, maybe two turnabouts on the play. I guess so. Scalding Tarn pass. Mishra's Bobble. I don't know if I noticed that in game one. I did see that Ethan was playing Predict, which is not super common anymore. But the uh the bobbles are interesting. We draw Fluster Storm. That was a good draw. Okay. Ethan plays Ponder. Another Fluster Storm. Love it. And now a Brainstorm. Ethan fetches using Misty Rainforest into Thoughtseize. I'm going to have to burn one of these Fluster Storms here. Target the Thoughtseize. If Ethan has a Dark Ritual, then Dark Ritual pay for the Fluster. 
And then the question is, do we fluster again? And I think the answer is yes. And then we'll switch a couple copies to Dark Ritual so that way neither of them resolve. Brainstorm. I'm going to just pass. Shield Red. I'm going to attempt a Force of Will here. Ethan forces back. I will have to force exiling the Time Spiral. High Tide is more valuable. Ethan has two cards left in hand. Turnabout. So now if we draw a Time Spiral or Mind's Desire, I could theoretically try to do something. And there's the Doomsday. Didn't put Cavern of Souls into the pile. We drew Dress Down. But I feel like Ethan's not going to play into Dress Down after seeing it in game one. This should just be brainstorming to a win with Counterspell back up. Thoughtseize. I guess I'll flash and Dress Down. We find Brainstorm. That's not terrible here. Cast the Brainstorm. I think the only way I win this is if Ethan messes up. So I'm hoping Ethan takes a spell that doesn't matter here, which would be Candelabra or Turnabout. Okay. So you're saying there's a chance. High Tide. Play the Candelabra. Untap our lands. And now we'll play Granted. Force of Will. Okay, we've lost. Our only hope there was getting Brain Freeze. So we won the first two games of this league and then did not win another game for the rest of the league. Brutal. Just devastating. Okay, one and four. This was the deck list we played today. Honestly, I feel like the Snap Quadifaries builds are just better. Uh, I don't think that Turnabout or Candelabra meaningfully sped up the deck. I do think the main deck dress downs are pretty interesting, but the deck felt inconsistent, so... The dress downs could have been preordains, and then you would have less consistency issues. I don't know. Uh, I truly don't. If you have any suggestions for my next High Tide video, put those in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you. But uh, that's all I've got for today. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. And as always, keep storming. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. After you do that, open up our description where you can find all of our social media networks, including our Discord, where you can discuss today's deck in that Discord with me and tons of other combo masterminds. It's absolutely free to join, and it's certainly worth your while.